Welcome to my office. We we're going to try this. This is a take two. So I got home and I was excited because I just posted y'all a video about this house and I wanted to look at the pictures of the inside. And we actually, um, after we went and looked at this, we went to a restaurant and I was trying to look at it on the website for the actual realtor and they're never as good as Zillow, but they have the same pictures, of course. And they don't have any inside pictures of the house because they don't care about the house. It's they're selling it for the property and they're selling it as unimproved land and they're selling it, which is, you know, I figured that, but I thought maybe they do inside pictures. Um, this, this must be the 147 acres east of Acme Village and Myers. So East M72, which is where the busy road is right there. It's right there in front of the house. Uh, that is that amount of footage on that road, which is zoned ag, which I guess is cheap taxes. But, you know, they want some kind of developer or something to buy this for this price. It's been for sale for a while, y'all. And the price has gone up and down and all around. Um, but I wanted you to notice, and I've noticed this living here. Look at the roof. What a wonderful pitch that is, first off, for a Michigan house. It's got good pitches to keep the snow off and run off. Um, but look how straight it is. Look how straight it is. And when you get close up, and I, I got a little closer up on my first video so you could see. I mean, this is the original siding on the house, and it's it's a disaster, kind of. Um, but let's see. This door here is an etched glass door, and this door that was over here is an etched glass door. Um, I'm sure these, are, these might be lilacs. I'm not even sure. Um, I'm sure... This is a lovely house. It has these big picture windows. It has another one over here. Uh, this looks like it was another parlor over here. And who knows what these windows were originally. I mean, this house has been updated. You can tell things have been done to keep it. It wouldn't even be in this good of shape. Now, around the back, they don't even show you. There's There's a hole in the roof. And I think I got it on camera. It's around this back side here. It looks like the kitchen area is around the back. Um, I was just real disappointed. There's the barn and the horses. So somebody's using the barn and the horse it, to keep the horses at. Um, I was just real disappointed that they didn't show any inside pictures. It's just tons of beautiful property, of course. Ooh, look, that looks like a little marshland there. Got some cattails going on. Um, I'm not sure what you're supposed to tell from all these signs. These are, of course, pictures. And look, that's beautiful apple trees. Oh, this is close to the house because there's another one of it that shows close to the house. There's no telling what's growing back there from the last hundred years. But it's real close to a casino and some other stuff. So they're going to try to, you know. commercialize it but then they show you these beautiful pictures of these beautiful apple trees and see I believe that's the house right there that looks like one of the porch pillars right there um, so that was close to the house and yeah the, see this is one of the etched glass doors here this was a beautiful house at one time and it's probably on its last years until somebody picks this property up and sells it. Look at those trees. Those are pine trees, I guess. Kind of odd looking. Very healthy looking. And this is in the back going towards the house. Me and Keith should have been born a hundred years ago. So I could have had him out there farming. Oh, this is across the way. I wonder if this used to be... This one's closed up, too. Y'all, it's across the street. I wonder if it's family. 
back in the day. Um, so really, and this was a beautiful blue spruce somebody planted that took over. Beautiful yard. I'm sure in the summertime it's just gorgeous. Very loud. See here, okay, so here's the back of the house. You can tell. There's a hole there in that porch. I think I saw, I can't remember if I saw a hole right there. Maybe it was just in the porch. But that's in, you know, that's in really bad shape. But, you know, there's no telling if the, if it's not surviving on the inside, if the roof hasn't just given out. Um, the shell might not be in bad shape. And what's underneath here probably isn't in bad shape. I would guess, you know, a lot of times they build on things like this that they probably shouldn't build on because it causes rot along these places. You know, this root, this probably wasn't here. And as you see, it didn't even survive as long as the original structure. Does that go down to the basement? I think that is so cool. There's your oil for your oil burner. I think that's how that works. I'm not sure. Or your furnace, whatever it was. It's got a rock wall around here, so I don't know if that's a full basement down there. Anyways, this was a beautiful house. A beautiful farm. I'm sure some families have some happy memories or did at the time. It doesn't even tell how old it is because it's not selling it with the house. But I'm guessing in excess. What is that? Is that a well cap? What is that? I was trying to figure out, you know, well, what is a four inch well? Is that what that means? I'm not sure. Um, I didn't even see a railroad will be there, y'all. So it's somewhere back there. Somewhere. Just shows property and property. There's the back of the barn. So that would be the house over there. Pretty cool. Anyways, that's it, y'all. Um, let's see. What else can I show you? Pretty spring flowers, huh? So that's what it tells you. It just tells you great potential for mixed-use income property in the front. Green space in the back. Plus residentials. The sky's the limit. So see, they're hoping somebody buys it for a whole different use. So it's there. I'm sure it's that maybe and some of that. Pretty beautiful. See it sometime. It might be all this back here too. I'm not even sure. That might be the railroad. That looks like some kind of line right there. And if so, then it goes all the way back to the railroad back there. And then these woods probably belong to it. There might That marshy land might be over here. Hmm. But you can see, if you look it up, the price change. They took it down a little bit. Like, look at that price. But then, look at that price. <laughs> and look at the tax assessment for 2000 Wow. Estimated monthly cost. Your estimated mortgage bill would be $18,395. Woo! Wow. That's crazy. Well, that's the show for today, y'all. I got kids down there. They're going to drive us crazy for the next however long. I got to check and see. We thought the boys didn't go back to school tomorrow, but I think they do. And back to counseling and all that business. So, alrighty then. I hope y'all enjoyed looking at this cool house with me. 
I wish I could have taken us inside. That would have been neat. Yes, we could have called the realtor, but we don't look like we have two million bucks. I'm wearing I'm wearing my skull pants. I think they'd have laughed at me. All right, y'all. Take it easy.